All right, so vectors, it's a little scary. I'm just going to jump right into it. We see A cross B and the magnitude of A and the magnitude of B. And we have a formula that has all of those and the angle between A and B. Yeah, we have a formula that incorporates all those things. So when you see something like this with A cross B and the angle between it, we have a formula that says that the magnitude of A cross B is equal to the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times the sine of the angle in between them. Wonderful. We have all of those parts, right? Um, we're given A cross B. We're not given the magnitude of it, but that's okay. We can find it. The magnitude of that is going to be the length of it. So like uh, almost an extended Pythagorean. Uh, so it's going to be 2 root 5 squared plus 2 root 5 squared plus negative 2 root 15 squared. So that'll be the magnitude of uh, this vector. And this is supposed to equal the magnitude of A, which they just tell us straight up is uh, 10 root 3 over 3 times the magnitude of B, which is straight up 2, times the sine of the angle between the vectors, which is what we want to know. So it's a straight plug and shove. We just go from here. So uh, this guy here would be uh, 4 times 5 is 20, and then 4 times 5 is 20, and then 4 times 15 is 60. And so that's the square root of 100 which is 10. So 10 is supposed to be 10 root 3 over 3 uh, times 2 times the sine of theta. So to solve for the sine of theta, I'm just going to divide both sides by 10, which will make this a 1 and make that go away. Uh, multiply both sides by 3, so I'll get 3, and, and then divide by 2 root 3. So 3 over 2 root 3 will be the sine of theta, just, yeah, multiplying by 3, dividing by 2 root 3. So you're like, I don't quite recognize that, so let's rationalize it. So we'll have multiply top and bottom by root 3. So we'll have uh, 3 root 3 over uh, 2 times 3. And those 3s will end up canceling out. So you just get um, uh, root 3 over 2, and that equals the sine of theta. So if root 3 over 2 is supposed to equal the sine of theta, and you want to know what angle is, this looks familiar, right? If you know your unit circle from trig right off the bat, you can say, oh, the angle that gives me a sine of root 3 over 2, that's 60 degrees, or, or pi thirds. Uh, but if you're like, wait a second, this is foundational level stuff, we shouldn't need to know trig, you can recognize this from a 30-60-90 triangle. So if you're looking at a 30-60-90 triangle, 30-60-90, and the short side is S, and the longer side is 2 times that, and the hypotenuse is S root 3, uh, the 60 degrees will give you uh, the sine of 60 degrees in this triangle here will be the opposite over the hypotenuse. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse just from a little Sobatilla. So S root 3 over 2S doesn't matter what the initial side is. The S's cancel out root 3 over 2. So the angle that they're looking for is the sine of 60 degrees is giving us root 3 over 2. So theta is 60 degrees. And that's the answer they want.